So, what's up, everybody? <clears throat> Welcome back. We are going to be playing Fallout 4. Um, let's see what quest I'm on. Oh, provide food, which I don't have any right now to provide. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to Diamond City. Which is kind of far. Relative, relatively far. But, it, it's alright. First, I need to see if I can repair any of my power armor. Oh wait, now I don't even have now I don't even have a fusion core for it. Never mind. So I'm just gonna have to leave it here. Though. So let me go in it and bring it to my power armor power station or my power armor station and then I'll start repairing some of it I'm not going to do anything else with it but repair it Okay, so I'm going to put all this stuff back in it, but I can't take it with me because I don't have a fusion core, so I have to leave it just for like right now. But anyway, so I have to, I have to go to Diamond City. That's where I'm going to be going. Let me see if I can make anything real quick. Probably not. Yeah, I can't make anything at the moment, so I'll just, yeah, I'll just go to Diamond City then. Hello, Preston. Um, actually, where's Codsworth at? I'm gonna go talk to Codsworth real quick. I'm gonna go talk to Codsworth real quick, see where he's at. Cause I might take Codsworth with me. Instead of dog meat. Once I find Codsworth anyway, because I don't know where he's at. Okay. Yeah. He's in that house right there. I don't know for sure. Oh, Codsworth. Codsworth. Oh, he's right here. Alright, cool. Yeah, I think he usually just stays around at this house. Welcome back, Mom. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. How are things here while I was gone? No, just catching up on some old yard work with the occasional pest control. And you, Mum. Anything to be found in Concord? Maybe. We'll see. We certainly shall. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Yes, of course. Right behind you, Mum. Sorry, dog meat, but I'm gonna Not send to you. Worry there, pup. Your mistress is in good hands. Sorry, dog meat. I'm gonna send you back to Red Rocket. All right, Codsworth. Let's go to Diamond City, buddy. 
So I haven't had Codsworth ever as a companion. Because, like, I usually take dog meat. Because I usually take dog meat with me up until a certain part of the game. <clears throat> and then I take a different companion with me. And then I basically take like different companions with me throughout the game, but I don't usually take Codsworth with me like at all. So, yeah. But yeah, I have to go to Diamond City, which is <coughs> kind of far. Show you. See, it's actually pretty far from here. So yeah. <laughs> I really want to like go in like the daytime since it's getting dark. But I just have to keep going because I don't, I don't have access to like a bed or anything like that right now. So yeah, um, so I'm gonna be, um, continuing this Fallout Four series. Then I'm going to, I might either start one of the 2k series before like one of my WWE 2k my career series <laughs> like while I'm doing this series or I might finish the series and then do that um but I also want to start Wolfenstein, the new order, soon. Because I've actually never played Wolfenstein, and I want to see what's what it's about. But since Fallout 4 got more votes on my Instagram poll, um, this is what you guys are going to get until I am finished with this game, of course. But that's going to be... Kind of a while. Oh, yeah. Really doesn't get any better than this. Howdy, friend. Grab a seat by the fire. Everyone's welcome. Thank you, mister. 5.40 a.m. Let's go to 8.40 a.m. <laughs> Just so it's a little lighter. Because I cannot see for crap when it's like... You know, that dark. But anyway, well, usually I can't. Well, usually I can, but like it's a little harder to see when it's dark. Just a little. So yeah, I prefer daytime over nighttime when it comes to this game. So first, I'm gonna do the Fallout Four. This Fallout Four series, I might start. 2K20 or 2K19. Um, I might start one of those two WWE games, like go on my career and play the play those for you guys. But I'm gonna do either one of those two, but whichever one I don't do, I'll do the one I'm doing, and then I'll. After I'm finished with that one, I'll do the other one after that. Like, like I'll do 2K, like if I do 2K19 first, I'll finish out 2K19, which 2K19 is really not that long, so I might even, I might start with that one anyway. 
Even though I think 2K20 got more votes. Um. I think 2K20 got more votes. Yeah, 2K... Well, my friend... Well, I had one person that said 19 or 20. And then I had a person that just said 20. But 20 is like... He hell of a lot longer than 19. If I'm being honest. Because yes, I've played all the... All the of the 2k um my careers that i have like so like 20 19 18 and 17 um i may hmm when it comes to 17 i don't know for sure if I'll, i don't know for sure if i'll actually do it same with 18 but if I do end up doing 17, 2K17 to my career, I might either start a new character on there or I might like just play as the character that I'm playing as on there right now. Um, I don't for sure know. But, um,. Cause like 2K17 doesn't really have an end to it, I don't think. Either that, or 2K17's like end is like. Is um. You know, like you have to like win all the um champion championships just to like end the game on 2K17. I'm not sure entirely. Well, with one character, I've only captured one. With my character on there that I have right right now, I've only captured one title, and I didn't hold it for very long. But that's because I didn't want to hold it for... That's because I didn't feel like holding it anymore. Like, I... I held it with this guy who, basically, I was doing all the work. Yeah, basically, I was doing all the work on in our tag team, me and this guy. So, I ended up losing the tag titles on purpose, and then I ended up break, what do you mean you can't breaking up the, the tag team with him. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Ooh. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Danny, open up! You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. 
You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrapped for parts. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> no. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? An infant boy. Kidnapped. Did you say kidnapped? Well, McDonough, Diamond City Security can investigate this. How about all the other kidnapping reports you've been uh, Don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I... This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Alright. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go to Diamond... Good old Diamond City. grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Thanks, I guess. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? I'm looking for my baby. His name's Sean. You have a son, lady? Wow, you're old. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Piper, you're back. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if you don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that from heading to the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? 
read the paper later. Trust me. So I'm gonna go to Piper's office real quick. Ballparks become a shanty town. Today's been great. Interesting you mentioning that, seeing as you're from a vault. Yeah, you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal I want an interview. Your life story in print. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Mm -hmm. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe it? Ooh. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, what? <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. Gotta make my job hard for me, huh? All right, if that's the quote, that's the quote. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. And people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but... It, what would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but... You can only take it one day at a time. Just keep going. That's all anyone can do. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? I think my readers can relate to that. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Sure. All right, well, she can come with me whenever she wants. But I'm gonna keep Codsworth with me for the time being. Kyle, it's me. I'm not a sin. Don't move, Sam. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a sin. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a sin! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no sins in Diamond City. You hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Officer? I need you to step away, Scabber. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. You got bricks for ears? I said get the hell out of here. <laughs> Move along. Nothing to see here. Officer. Move along. Excuse me. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, 
I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Okay. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Something's nice. Oh, Nick. Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage, you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their... There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking... Mm hmm. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's the small matter of expenses. <laughs> Don't play games with me. I'll pay you if you find Nick, but it's going to be a hundred caps. That's the rule. Who's this... Skinny Malone character. I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Okay, well that's done. So what I'm going to end up doing first, actually, before... What I'm going to end up doing first, actually... I'm actually going to go ahead and go... First, I want to listen to this... Oh, wait, I can't right now. Never mind. How many caps do I have? 155 caps. Okay. I think it's like well you you got um you can buy you can buy a house housing permit in Diamond City, but it's like two thousand caps. Which I don't have right now. So um Also, once I do Wolfenstein, which will be soon enough, I don't know when exactly, but. Once I do that, I'm probably just, I'm probably out of, like, series to do after that, really. Once I run out of, once I've done with this, done with Wolfenstein, and done with the 2K My Career mode. With the uh, WWE 2K20, my career mode. Once I'm done with, like, those, then, like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of going to be out of series to do at that point, I think. Like, I could always re-download stuff to, like, play, but. But, you know, like, Borderlands 3, Batman Arkham Knight, um, stuff like that. But, like, yeah, space is kind of a problem when it comes to my Xbox. Like, I don't have an external storage device, which I really want to get one. Hello, sir. Anyway, 
Let me save also, because saving is quite important in this game. No oh, shit, there's there's super mutants shooting at me, so I gotta go. Cause I don't like to deal with super mutants because they're actually kind of hard to kill. Yeah, there'll be like raiders and super mutants that you, you, you can find like throughout the game. And I know where the Freedom Trail kind of goes. Seven. Since, like. A. Some sort of code. I know where the. F I know, like, most of where the Freedom Trail goes. Because I've done this quest so many times already, so. Yeah. Yeah, I've done this quest enough to know where to go. Alright, so here's good neighbor. Let me just go up to it so it says I've discovered it. Actually, I'm gonna go inside of it, because... I'm gonna go to good neighbor, you know, just to kind of see what's what. Diamond good neighbor, you can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right, we'll just. Time out. Someone steps. Through. Can we level up again? I'm gonna go ahead and buy. Do this. That might be alright. First time they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Yeah, he wants she just wants to tell you something. And he stabbed me. Happen? Like it? I think it gives me a sexy king of the zombies kind of look. Big hit with the ladies. I'm a ghoul, you see. A lot of walking rad freaks like me around here. So you might want to keep those kinds of questions on the low burner next time. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Of the people, for the people. Oh, brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. I actually haven't been in here before, but...
Alright, so let's continue following the Freedom Trail. Good, just making sure I was still tracking the quest. So it's this way up over that bus. Kill that dog, Codsworth. Kill him. Crap, I have no more ammo in this gun. I'm just gonna use my 10mm pistol from here then. Oh. Thanks, Codsworth. And I think I go this way, right? Let me just make sure. Oh, there's ghouls, yeah. Go ahead and use a stim pack anyway. Damn it. Okay, I died. Mm. I need my blanket because it's actually kind of cold in here. Kind of. It gets cold in the morning in my room, but then it gets like... But then it gets real hot. The later that it is. Well, hello there. Like, it gets, it, it's like cold in the morning, but then once it becomes like afternoon or at night, it, it gets hot. I gotta use a different gun now. Let's use the short laser musket. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go from here, we gotta go this way. Hello, ghouls. Ah, god damn it. Yeah, I gotta watch my health a little more. Cause, like, you know. Ew. Says not only do blood bugs suck the victims, uh, suck their victims' blood, but will shoot it back at them. Ew, that's gross. Actually, not even gonna lie. Oh, I had to go this way. I was I was going the wrong way the whole time. So that's where these ghouls are coming from. Right, I need to heal again. One second. Also I need to equip these. Die all of you.
Alright, cool. Is Codsworth behind me? No, he's probably he isn't. So I gotta be a little sneaky through here, because there's u usually there's super mutants around. This area. Yep. All right, they already found me, but I'm good because I can just run from here. Ow. Let me tell you, super mutant suiciders are actually pretty annoying. Actually, you die. I win and you die. Go. All right, cool. I just gotta get this this way now. Gotta go. Gotta go. All right. Cool. Okay, I did not know that could happen, but it can, I guess. I do know the password to this. Huh. It spins. Oh, so it starts with R.
go. Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this Not meeting. One, but, but before we close. go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the Simps' only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. It's clear you're not with the Institute. But who told you how to contact us? I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are Deacon. Where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Well, she's got to be someone. She made it down here, right? Normal people just don't do that. What? Normal people can't figure out your decoder ring out front? These days, being able to even spell railroad is cause for celebration. So you got nothing. She's a complete unknown. What are our options? Shoot her? Come on. We need friends, Des. Now more than ever. And I got a real good feeling about her. What? Are you vouching for her? Yes. Definitely. Fine. That changes. Only ones fighting the Institute. And I want to take them down. I'd like to say that nobody comes here out for blood, out for revenge. That everyone's here to help their fellow man. That? The Institute's going to pay for what they've done to my family. You have a lot in common with too many of us, I'm afraid. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You... Uh -huh. Yeah. I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Mm -hmm. I risk my life for people every day. <laughs> Makes no difference to me if it's a human or a synth. Well said. You were right about us. We're the only ones in the Commonwealth brave enough or stupid enough to fight the Institute. And we could use more sisters in arms. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, uh -huh. and in turn, we can help you. See? Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. What's done is done. A healthy attitude. But it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. Wait a minute. Oh. You still there? Don't worry. I'll keep your secret. That's what I want to hear. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Ooh. Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. All right, well. So. 
Let me see something real quick. I'm looking at my YouTube channel, and one of my videos got copyright striked. I don't know why. Hey. So it's not uploaded. So I'm not gonna upload it. Got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. Okay, well that's good, I guess. Um, but yeah, no. One of my videos got copy copyrighted. So, and it was by WWE themselves. They copyrighted my video or something, or well, YouTube did actually. I mean, I'm not mad about it, but I don't really know what the problem is. So yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know why my video got copyrighted, but it did. I'll have to go back and watch it and figure out what the problem is. But I'll do that after this uh, stream, I think. I think I'll do this stream and then I'll figure out what the problem was. Alright. So what's another quest I can do? Unlikely Valentine. Fire support. And you actually need to listen to the... Oh, never mind. I can't right now. Shit. I have to... I'm gonna go ahead and do... Unlikely Valentine, just like for now. So I highlighted one of my streams from last night, but like I can't upload it because it's copyrighted for some reason. So I have to just deal with that, I guess. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to end the stream here. I know I usually go to like an hour and a half and it's not even been... Yeah, I'm gonna end the stream here, so I guess I'll see you guys later.